Well, John, uh, just thought I'd... Uh, I was going to type out a whole bunch of words about these reverse hypers, uh, but I thought a video might be easier. So I've got the exact model that you're looking at. This is the Strength Shop Riot, um, Riot one, which is kind of their second edition one. I've had it for, I've uh, been in this place closing on, on two years now. So I've had it for a good couple of years. Um, I've used it at least once a week since having it, sometimes more, depending on what I've got going on. It's uh, it's about four foot high, roughly. I, I guess the dimensions are probably written on the on the website, but it's about the same again in length. You see the where the feet come out. Uh, and these these juts which are kind of useful as a you kind of step onto these to help get into it uh, so it starts down there and then it juts out where the handles are there's double size handles which also make for a good place to dry your sweaty knee sleeves actually um, yeah you can see that so you've got two different holes depending on uh, arm length and what not I think and just getting yourself into different positions uh, whether you want to be quite high up on it get your hips up and just work on like hamstrings or you could move your hips off of it and there you're swinging and it's mostly on the back um, the only uh, one thing that got me and it took me a long time to get is it was actually really painful to use to begin with this has got extra padding on this like front. So this is only a couple of inches of padding here, but then uh, on the board, it sort of ends here. And you've got, it's about four inches there. But even with that, when your body weight is banging into that constantly. Um, and as it turned out, just moving my hips off more or being on more, having my crease of my actual hips there was where the pain was if they're slightly up or slightly down it's a lot better um, so that was something I had to get used to um, the only complaint I've got really um, is there's a bit of give in this I have to keep tightening up the bolts probably a bit dark to see but the bolts are pretty heavy duty but those ones get quite a lot of play and I've got to keep tightening them up, which is not really a big deal. I'll just use a socket on it. Um, it does make for a pretty good storage for sticking shit on. Um, I attach bands to it quite often for other various little bits and pieces. So when you're using it, you've probably seen me using it in videos anyway, maybe. But as you can see, they come out another few feet from the exercise so you, my point is is it is pretty damn big and there's not a lot you can do with it other than uh, a few exercises so space uh, the you know like how much space it uses to how much use you get out of it i don't know it's it's quite a lot now I've done some other random stuff. I've laid underneath this and used it as like a tricep extension, which it works quite nicely. Uh, I can use it just standing in it as like a hip adductor type situation, or obviously change the leg and do do the outside. So you get that out of it. Um, obviously you've got the reverse hyper work that you can do on it. Um, the hinge that it's on is really good quality. Probably can't really see that, but putting it together was a bit of a ball ache. If there was two of you putting it together, so if you've got like Lee or somebody help you put it together, I think you'll walk in the park. I'm really not very handy with DIY and nuts and bolts and stuff is not really my thing. Um, but even then I managed it by myself in under two hours. So if, if you've got two of you and you know what you're doing a little bit more than I do uh, with tools and stuff, 
I'm sure you'll get it together in, in an hour. Um, I think it's a good piece of kit. I have got some hip issues, which I've complained about quite a lot, which causes some low back pain ever since I did strongman stuff, really. Sometimes it fucks up again and it hurts. And this is part of my rehab program. The traction uh, that I get on the lower back is really good. Uh, and you can get a good low back pump. You do get a back pump on it. And it, funny enough, it, it trains all sorts of stuff. So as you're pulling on these, uh, it hits my lats quite a bit as well. Um, it's one of those ones where you just got to get the feel for it. And you'll find that it does all sorts of bits and pieces for you, really. Um, I really wanted one. I've wanted one for a long time since I first learnt, like, got into powerlifting, like, ten years or so ago. There was a bloke I spoke to in America who swore by them. And then there's obviously Louis Simmons and um, Westside Barbell going on about them. Uh I I, th I think it's good. Is it worth the money? If you've got the money spare and you've got the space spare, it's a good bit of kit. Um, I'd buy it again if I didn't have one. Uh, and, well, you know, if my house burnt down and I still had the money to buy a gym or whatever, I would buy it again. So if that comes as any kind of recommendation, then so be it. Oh, this, yeah, the, the, the right one's pretty good. It's got some uh, parts for... I don't know if you can see these very well, but you've got attachments for bands as well. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty solid, even for uh, before I lost weight. It was solid for me at 140 kilo body weight, so it's, uh, it's, it's all right. Um, this moves nicely in all sorts of different directions. Uh, so depending on how high you are and then you can lengthen this and uh, I think it's decent mate if you've got the money spare and you've got the space for it I'd recommend it I know you've got the inversion table ready for the traction on your spine um, yeah I, I, if it wasn't for the traction no that's a thing if I already had a traction, uh, like an inversion table, and now having said that, I've never used one, so I'm not actually sure how how great they are, but um, because I don't have one of those, and I do like to traction my spine, this is what I wanted it for. Uh, so as I could train and route, like even if I screw my back up, I can still train my back with this and sort of rehab it at the same time. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, I've probably said loads about it. If you've got the money, got the space, go for it. What's worse can happen, mate? Hope you're well, John, and, uh, I'll see you later on.